And in fact, uh, at one point, in, later in 1938, Sumner Wells, the Under Secretary of State, Roosevelt's man, sent out a top priority cable to all of the American ambassadors in Latin American countries, urging them to meet with their foreign ministers and stressing to them the interest of the United States in resolving the problems of political refugees, note that they used that term, from Central Europe. Some Latin countries responded pretty well. Others um, hardened their uh, restrictions against Jews coming in. We estimate that perhaps about 50,000 people in the period late 1938 to the middle of 1939 got into Latin American countries largely uh, because of American interest in the subject. So this is the second Roosevelt. The second Roosevelt did not survive the war. The war brought about a fundamental change, particularly Germany's victories in Western Europe in the spring and summer of 1940. The American public came to believe that Germany was only able to conquer so quickly and easily because it had sent spies and saboteurs as well as propaganda into those countries and eaten away at the morale and that there was a so-called fifth column of subversives and German agents already at work in the United States. Those of you who are old enough to remember the climate after September 11th, 2001, the climate towards foreigners, may have some sense of the climate in the middle of 1940. So even though Jews were the victims of the Nazis, they were suspect. They were suspect because the Nazis might be putting, planting agents among them, or the Nazis might be coercing Jews themselves to act as agents by threats against their relatives at home. All of the immigration liberalization which occurred under the second Roosevelt was completely reversed and new regulations enforced by a disastrous choice as Assistant Secretary of State Breckenridge Long uh, screened out virtually all Jewish applicants for immigration visas. 